Hello, Virgo. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Virgo, I tried to record your video before. I don't know what the hell is going on on my computer. But the song that was playing when I recorded your first video was Lost in the Fire. And then that song, um, I'm tired of being home alone. I used to have a girl a day, but I want you to stay, right? So... <laughs> Some old player deciding to put his car down. No, I'm not calling you a player. It just, just could be somebody. He's like, man, I like this one. So, you know what I mean? That kind of attitude. Like, I, I really think I like this this girl. Maybe I'm talking to a masculine energy. Um, but we do have the Six of Cups. This could be an energy that you return to, like, or that's returning to you. Um, but I feel like it's like changing someone's mind or way of living or like you know how you see someone and they're glowing and they just have more color in their face you know i feel like something is changing there's a new path that is being paid that someone's paving for themselves or that's being paid for someone and it's a very sweet connection but lost in the fire i feel like there was time lost between the two of you may have been a separation may have been you name it Take it how it resonates. The other song that was playing though, um, for this redo reading is Can You Feel It by Kim. And he says, for every woman that needs a man, there's a man that needs you too. Maybe I'm that man for you. You hear my heart. You hear it. You feel my life, you make my day. I'm more in every way. Because you open me. Can you feel it? I care for you. I want to hear from you. All bets are on. Me loving you. Uh, girl, I'll be there for you. Can you feel it? I miss you. I'm reminiscing too. Our love is strong. Girl, all I want to do is be with you. Right? I refuse to let you go. Maybe I'm crazy. Can you feel it too? Something like that, Virgo. So, let's see. What's going on with y'all, Virgo? Somebody's in love. What's on your mind right now? A lot of you are wanting to... Move forward. I, maybe there's something that's ended in your life. It could be your singlehood. Right? Or just the part of your life that's like, okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I think we're there. We learned everything we were supposed to learn. I think that part is done, right? That part of me that didn't know which way I wanted to go, didn't know which was the right path for me, that part of me that was indecisive or grieving over past things, things that are gone. I'm not there anymore. Maybe a lot of you spent a lot of time to yourself or you or like maybe in a dream state or you took some time to focus on yourself or maybe in a dream state, something came to you. It could have been a vision. Some of you could have gotten a reading, whatever it is, but there's something here that you're wanting to go for. Somebody's different. They're like you. Or something about you, you're different. Like whatever makes you different or whatever makes them different or y'all different. Y'all get it with each other. They hear your hearts. You hear their heart. There's something like that here. Somebody could be left-handed, too. You could be a left-handed couple. There's some people who don't agree with the two of you coming together, and there's some people who do. I feel like the people on the masculine side are like, yeah, this is good for you. The people on the feminine side may be concerned for her. Just saying. It's just, just putting it out there. But I feel like it's because whenever two people come together, they're... There's a part of their vibration that, that brings them together. Either that's a good thing or a bad thing. A bad space that they were in that brought them two together. But I feel like these two find happiness with each other. They find their own path. 
and you got your naysayers and you got your people who agree, but I feel like the feminine energy may have been, may be, may be a help meet to the masculine. Maybe he was on a rocky path. Maybe she was too. She just held it together in a different way. We don't know. But there's concern on her side. Maybe because there was a split between the two of you. There was, like I said, there may have been a lot of time lost here. But you two can appreciate the different about each other. Um, but the masculine energy may feel like there's more that he needs to learn. Or there's still something that he's moving on from releasing from his energy. Maybe he hasn't. He's not quite ready to... He's like, I'm interested, but I haven't quite committed myself to this. Something like that. I'm not quite going for it. Maybe there's another relationship that's still in his energy. Perhaps something that feels like a missed opportunity. It's still in his emotion. Almost like that what if... If I were to go back there, what if... Something like that. But maybe it's best to end it because I remember being in this negative space with this person. I remember, it's like I remember the negative about this. And maybe it's best for me to just heal. So I see you moving on from this chapter in your life. There's someone whose likeness is like yours. It's like y'all got a likeness. I don't know. Maybe that's not the right way to say that. But, um... Maybe you mull over it a little bit and you're like, mm, I think I like what I got going on. I think I like where I'm going at this point or who I'm becoming at this point. I think I'm going to keep going forward, right? So what you know, a lot of you are glowing right now. It's like a different glow about you and you have to pay attention to that. Who's contributing to that? Because people, we we pick up on other people's energy very easily. And when someone's not doing the work and someone's not properly loving themselves, you can see it. And like a person who is can see that. And so if you join forces with someone who is or if you're that person, then people are going to start to see that. And it may try to pull people back into your life who didn't contribute to that happiness that you now feel. So just be careful with that. What you do know <clears throat> is that you really don't know which. I feel like a lot of you are overthinking something. There's several ways that there's several paths that you could take. There's several ways that you could go, you know. Don't get yourself so caught up in which way to go or overthinking which way to go that you don't make no move. Don't don't get stuck. There's someone who may have some sort of influence on you. This person could be like sarcastic, negative, impatient, insensitive. I don't know. Who is this? This person may want your attention. This person may want to reconnect with you. But there's a no in your spirit when it comes to this person. Or there's something about this that's a no. Or there's something about this that would be breaking commitment. Something like that. So this is something that you're cutting out because you don't want anything to hold you back from what you found. Some of you may be dealing with a queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. This person is connected to a, like a source of strength for you, I feel. 
Or maybe this is the reason why you hold back. This is something that you want to protect. So I see someone changing direction. Blocking themselves from going back to something. I want to hold on to what I got. So I'm taking space from this, so I'm really thinking about this. I feel like there's something better for me. This, it's almost like I need to isolate myself from this person or this person. This is somebody that maybe you broke up with. Or maybe something beautiful would end if I were to go back to something, right? It's like going back to something would be a bad idea. Or this person would leave if I were to, you know what I mean? And maybe in the situation that you would be going back to, you don't feel in charge of something. So a lot of you are reflecting right now. Should I end something? I shouldn't, should I go? Should I stay? Should I go back? This is the crossroads. What needs to end, Virgo? Because there's an emotional attachment here. Don't miss your vote looking back at some bullshit, Virgo. Um, I was watching this video by MJ Harris. Check him out if you haven't. Um, he said something like, uh, what was it? When I break up with someone, I write down a list. It's like I, I, I allow myself to feel whatever those emotions are. And I write down what I feel in that moment so that whenever the situation comes back around, I'm going to go back to that, you know, because we, we forget how quickly we forget the way someone made us feel until it's back in our energy again. And then when you go back to that, you know, people forget what you say. They forget what you did. But when you remind yourself of the way someone made you feel, I feel like it's going to help you to come to an easier decision, uh, an easier conclusion, uh, a, a, con a conclusion. You know what I'm trying to say, Virgo. So go ahead and let this shit end. It is what it is. You know what I mean? That's what you know. Let's see what you don't know. Some of you may live on Orange Boulevard. You're close to an Orange Boulevard. Could be connected to that in some way. California, I'm feeling. What don't you know? I don't think there's anything back there for you, Virgo, but a trap. <laughs> it's almost like somebody wants to keep, wants you to feel stuck. And I don't like that. It's a pattern that you have to notice here. Somebody's refusing, almost not, not wanting something to end. Or not allowing this to end. Could be someone's downfall. There's something that you need to protect. There's someone's energy you need to protect to protect yourself from. 
Because you know that if you don't, you could ruin something that you found here. Thinking about a missed opportunity that was supposed to be missed. It may have been for your protection, even. It just may have been a no for you with the Hierophant in the reverse. It's time to change direction because you have something here already. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, there's a victory that's already in front of you, Virgo. What you looking back there for? In that song, he said, I can't lose you, babe. I can't lose you. The song that's playing right now is called Elevate Yourself. So maybe the person who, maybe there's somebody who you know ain't good for you that's like, I can't lose you, babe. I can't lose you. I gotta be at home alone. All of that, right? What's the advice for you, Virgo? I think the advice is to elevate yourself. Oh, honey. Whoever this is, there, there's a maybe. There, it's a, it, ah, it could be an X, it could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. There's something that you need to leave behind. You know better, Virgo. You know better. Reject that sense of injury. Be strong. I keep getting the strength card for you. You know, my girlfriend said, my man shows up when I don't feel safe. And what she meant by that, you see this beautiful, innocent, you know, she might not be innocent, honey, but she needed somebody to show up for her. Because maybe I wasn't strong enough to reject this on my own. So I'm going to put this scary ass looking cat in front of me. And, and, and if, I, if you ain't going to hear no from me, you're going to hear no from this. Okay. Because who the hell got a, a, a lion at their house? You know what I mean? Like, this is somebody who I, I needed somebody to come before me. I needed, I needed somebody to come to my defense. Because maybe I'm not so strong when it comes to this energy. Maybe I'm not, you know, as healed as I thought I was. Temptation's looking like something, something. Mercury retrograde is coming up, Virgo. It's all about you in the Mercury retrograde. So... <sighs> Keep going. This is the strength to let go of something that was keeping you confused and grieving. I don't even know if this person was faithful to you. Like overbearing or selfish, petty. I'm not sure what this energy is. They can't win if you don't play. Something like that, Virgo. They can't win if you don't play. So, the Moonology card that I pulled for you is step into your power. Many of you may be dealing with an Aries, or this is the energy you need to get into for this particular situation. Something is holding you back from racing towards your next goal. Achieving anything is nearly always part inspiration and part hard work. Believe that you can create whatever you want. Be you, Virgo. Take action and be smart, but also be bold. Don't allow your inhibitions or others' restrictions to hold you back. Be systematic, but also allow yourself to get excited about what you want. If someone seems to be working against you, deal with your emotions as calmly as you can. This card represents a mix of having courage to chase your goals no matter what anyone says, while still planning and being strategic. Whatever you're doing now, remember that as well as passion, you need a plan. That's the way to overcome any obstacles. You need to chase your dreams, Virgo. Chase the feeling that you're actually looking for. And I think you found it in something. So I'm going to leave you with this. When a man is crazy about a woman, only she can cure him. 
Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you, Virgo. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.